Alright, so in the previous video, we talked about the data fetching aspects of GraphQL. And in this video, we are going to talk about mutations, which essentially allow you to perform server-side modifications on the data. So if you compare this with traditional REST API, queries allow you to perform GET requests and mutations allow you to perform POST, PUT, UPDATE or DELETE requests, which essentially modifies or delete the data you are interacting with. So unlike queries, mutation require the keyword mutation to be present in the query when you are defining a mutation. So you can see that here we are performing a mutation for uh, writing the review for Star Wars episode, which takes the input arguments for the episode and the review that you want to apply to the Star Wars movie. Now let's dive into this in a little bit more details uh, while we interact with the GitHub's GraphQL API. So I have my GitHub GraphQL API Explorer here which will allow me to interact with the GitHub's data of my profile. So if I perform this query, I should get my avatar URL from GitHub's API. Now in order to learn a little bit more about mutations, let's just try to use GitHub's GraphQL API and star a repository we love. We are going to write a mutation query to star Kenshi Dot's React testing library, but for now I'll have to unstar it to generate that activity. So I'll get rid of this query and instead of making a user query, I'll make a query to the repository. So I can just do repository, which has owner as a parameter. So I'm going to pass Kenshi Dot's here and the name of the repository will be react testing library. Now I need to retrieve the ID of this repository so that I can start it via the GitHub's GraphQL API. So I look at all the options that are available to me and look for something called ID. And I will also retrieve the fact that whether I have started or not. So viewer has starred or no. So if I just run this query, I should get uh, the ID of the repository and a Boolean to determine whether I have start this repository or not. Okay, so now that we have this ID, let's uh, just go ahead and look at the docs for starting a repository. If I search for add star, uh, there is my add star mutation which takes the input argument for starting the repository and it is of type add star input and add star input takes the startable ID which is the ID that we retrieved from our query right here and it takes a client mutation ID which is an optional parameter. So this parameter can be utilized to identify the mutation that we are performing on the client side but we are not going to use it in our query so we are going to stick with only the starable ID of the add star input parameter. So I'm going to open on one more tab of the GitHub's GraphQL API Explorer and clear it up and start writing the mutation. So notice how I am putting the keyword mutation here and simply run a mutation called add star, which takes the input argument, which we are going to pass as input. And I'm going to go back to my mutation and pass the input parameter over here. So it's going to be of the type that we saw here, which is add star input. And I'm going to define the type of this as add star input. Now I need to now pass this input query variable in my field over here. So it's going to be input, which we know is of type add star input, which takes the starable ID of the repository that I want to star. So here I'm just simply going to copy the ID that we determined via the query and paste that here. And over here, I'm simply going to uh, retrieve the data from my mutation, which will tell me whether I was able to star the repository or not. So this is going to be starable and I can simply retrieve the flag viewer has starred, which tells me whether I have starred the repository or not. Okay, so it seems we have some error here. So we use the type of input query variable that we passed here as add star input. But notice that the GraphQL schema expects us to be of type add star input not nullable. So if I simply just add the exclamation here, which tells the GraphQL schema that add star input will never be null, the error just goes away. So if I perform this mutation, 
I should see that the viewer has start this repository. So I'll go back to my query here again, which was earlier returning the status of starting the repository as false. And if I just fetch the details again, I should see it as true, which means that I recently just start the React testing library again. So if I simply refresh the page, I should see that it shows the status as starred. So that's it for mutation. We learned that the only difference between query and mutation is the kind of operations that you can perform on your server. And you can compose the response in the same way as you compose a query uh, in GraphQL. So that's it for this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned for the next one.